Let's see what kind of recording we've got on her. Just look at this place. This is what comes of old crooked money. The Kelly family has been profiting from people's misery for a long time. She's got this shit all over the manor. So you've been in there before? Is that how you ended up in the basement of the Southwark incinerator? We needed something incriminating, so we decided someone had to get in here and plant a bug. I wasn't going to assign someone else to do that. You saw how Mary uses the people she grabs out of the EPC, and the staff's uniform's not hard to mimic, so I went in. What I didn't know was that she had intel on our investigation, my team. I thought going off book would stop the leaks, but she still knew we were coming. She tortured me for the names of my team, tried to break me, but cops don't give up cops. Turned out she already knew the whole unit and put hits out on them. <laughs> the woman is a mind fucker. Well, at least you didn't get one of those little bomb thingies in you. I think I'd rather be dead, honestly. That's how I ended up on that butcher's table. So many reasons to want to rid the world of her, but it wouldn't be enough to just put one in her brain. My mates died trying to bring her to justice. I have to honor that.
Boże! Nie! yourself after everything I've done for you. You made me a slave. All of us. Please, let me go. Take this thing out. Back to your old life. Back to nothing. Back to you. 2.5 screaming blighters in your dead end job and sucking off the dough. You don't want that, love. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? And this kitchen knife, that won't do it, love. Cutting yourself affects my bottom line. Look, I can't live like this anymore. No. You are right there. It's all right, sweetheart, because I have another use for you. Attention, are we? Good. Be sure and spread the word. You know where this one goes. Get these two and all the others over to their venue and ready for the sale. Right away, ma'am. Also, the foreign investors have already landed and the drones are programmed, ready to deliver the invitations and the coordinates to all the guests. Mmm, it's that initiative I'm smelling, Peter. Initiative can be a dangerous thing can be misinterpreted. Fuck's sake. This is insane. How did Mary get her hands on this kind of tech? It takes a sick mind to come up with killer microchips. Perhaps a diseased mind, but definitely an ingenious one. Perfect psych profile for a group like Zero Day, wouldn't you say? Her affiliations aren't my priority, Bagley. She's keeping these people enslaved. And it sounds as if she's selling them. This is huge. And super gross. That's what the microchip does. They know that if they step out of line, they get butchered. Literally. DeadSec, we'll have to crash that slave auction. Get all the information we can out of there. The location will be on the invitations. She hasn't sent out the invitation yet, but when she does... Bagley, monitor the drone networks. Give us a heads up when Mary sends out her fleet. Until then, I reckon we're in a holding pattern. I'll get in touch if I hear about anything else that might interest you. Cheers, DeadSec. for our cordial invitation to Mary Kelly's tasteless theme party, we can finally get back to what really matters, solving the mystery of Zero Day. Who are they, and why do they frame DedSec for the bombings? Bagley, what you got for me? Glad you asked. Today, the great AI detective has two leads for his dog's body politic. Obviously, Albion needs looking into, but I also have a more unusual thread for you to pull on. There's a new hacktivist group on the dark web scene called the 404, but instead of being in it, for the laws, this lot seems to be in it for the brutal reshaping of society by any means necessary. Sound like anyone you know? Hmm, choices, choices. I've marked both on your optic. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out, pushing your location.
putting Mary Kelly on the back burner while she continues to destroy lives with those microchips, but for now, we've no choice. Then perhaps it's time to have a closer look at the elephant in the room. Nigel Cass, billionaire warmonger and current CEO of our local horde of thugs, Albion BMC. Cass certainly profited most from the bombings. We can inspire London to resist from now till forever, but it still won't break Albion's grip on the city. Not with Cass at the top. Okay, so we're going to confront the CEO of a private military company in charge of securing London. That sounds fucking stupid. I hope you've got more of a plan than just knocking on his front door. Bagley's come across a possible gap in Cass's armor. An ex-insider, ex-friend with an axe to grind. He'd be an asset if we could find him, convince him to work with us. Come to the safe house. We'll talk it through. time. How are you doing? Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Which is suspicious timing, if you ask me. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? 
They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses CAS of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. Kronos X? Never heard of it. What is it, some kind of drug? It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high fatality rate that stands to make Clan Kelly a lot of money. Well, that takes all the fun out of it, doesn't it? Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms. If you'd like to take a look, it, it took some doing.
hostage searches are at the discretion of Albion agents. All persons must comply with requests to surrender their weapons for search at any time. They need to do so. Malaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs. Quietly, of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. So let's be friendly and say hello. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Can we say paranoid? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Copy that. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Hey, look, windows. Do you think that's big enough for me? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. Piss easy. I got this. the premises. We may have an intruder.
What is this place? An ancient video game temple. There's so many fucking traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Piss easy. I got this. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash their hands to the whole mess. The collet will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change.
enough. The traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. Muscle Chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Wait, wait. Calm down, man. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Fuck no. Think more resistancy. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Albion knows you're in London. Kill me if you got to, but run. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Believe me, we know. Why else would I be risking my ass here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking mercs work. Listen, we want your help. Cass is no friend of ours. He tried to end us and he had a hand in the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what... Move, move, oh. move! An Albion squad's closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, I just think. Shit, fine. We'll table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. You found them. No! Suspect to the most wanted list. Over. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. All right, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something. And I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What are you planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem. And people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? 
A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. Working on an upgrade of his private police state? Brilliant. Does this prick ever take a day off? Whatever he's up to, we need eyes on that meeting. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this. Security's pretty tight there. I like to help, fam, but now I just caught a whiff now. With all the CTOS cameras, it'd take him less than five to ID me. I ain't risking my pretty face. We need an Albion insider for our caper, one who's willing to turn coat. I've reached out to a contact who works in a nearby pub. Where better to find a bleakly disillusioned anti-hero numbing their conscience with drink, but secretly desperate for redemption. I've let our contact know what we're in the market for, and she's nearby. That was strange. What? Seriously? Ought to be ashamed of yourself.
seems that manky little nerd was the one who kept diverting relief supplies away from the borough to keep everyone in line for Albion. These days you can do a lot more evil with a spreadsheet than a drone fleet. Brilliant. teammate has sought out new accommodations in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? They'll be fine. Come on, let's go.